to be more successful in their life, in any area of their life, all of us, absolutely. Now that exercise just there, some of you might have been easy, others might have been a stretch, and I know that. So for you guys that know me, know that I don't settle for let's just be comfortable, and you're still friggin' in the room. I want you guys to think of a dollar figure for 2017, and now some of you might go, oh, I'm not about money. Yeah, I get that, but guess what? Money is something that you need in life, true? If you want to create a charity, you need money. It's an energy, guys. So if you're thinking that straight away, we can have a chat. If you were earning this amount of money in 2017 and you were excited about it, so write that down. Now those of you that are a little bit more sensitive about it, you don't need to write it down. Have it in your head if you want, that's okay. So you're looking at that figure, what do you think that figure gives you? So if you had that, because it's not the money itself, is it? It's like saying, I want a BMW. It's not the BMW itself that you're excited about. It's what that BMW gives you. Does that make sense? It gives you a feeling of something. Now what I want you to do right now is I want you to get that figure and add a zero to the end of it. We're, we're hitting some boundaries here. This is called a boundary of thinking. Because you put a zero on, you think you think of a different figure and it's like, ooh, hold on a minute. Where does that ooh, hold on a minute come from? Fear, Fear doubt, self-esteem. Do you think by having that boundary of thinking, but and a lot of you did this, you went, ooh, putting the zero on. Do you think if you stay in that thought process that you can achieve that? You can't. And often we have boundaries of thinking that we're absolutely not aware of.